Mighty is the works of your hand. Mighty is the works of your hand. Great is our God, and he is worthy to be praised. Happy Sunday. God bless you. Hallelujah. I hope that you have had a blessed week. But my name is Shanika. On my channel, uh, we vlog on faith, lifestyle, and we just give glory to God and I give Sunday devotions. And today is Sunday and I've come to give you a word that is going to lift you up, encourage you, quicken your spirit, hallelujah, and that is going to help edify you, hallelujah, and then hopefully you can use this word to bless others because god is good hallelujah so um what is in your heart it matters to god man looks on the outward appearance but god looks on the looks on the inside of you god looks at your heart hallelujah so last week sunday when i came on here um i talked about the bowed heart the posture of having a bowed heart before the lord being humble and so Last week, I was, my heart was so hardened. I was talking about how my heart was so hardened that I didn't hear a word from God or, or I didn't feel any type of inspiration from the Holy Spirit to come on here and give my normal Sunday devotionals. And um, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and um, he said, set your atmosphere set your atmosphere when i set my when i followed the instructions and was obedient to what the holy spirit had um was telling me to do my heart my heart posture was started to become bowed before lord i started to humble myself and then i just felt the started to feel inspired hallelujah and then again my ears started my ear opened up and i was able to start to hear the holy spirit and all of a, and all of a sudden that just waters of springs of living water just started to flow through my belly hallelujah and the scriptures just started to flow through me and then when i put the pen to the paper i couldn't stop writing because the holy spirit hallelujah all i had to do was to get up and to do the work get up and get out of the bed and then um put my eye back on the Lord, not on my situation, because no matter what, we have to still show up no matter what. Hallelujah. God is still good. And we have to move forward forever and backwards never. Hallelujah. So where the treasures of your heart is, there your heart will also be. And that is coming from Matthews verses 6 and 21. And that's what the uh, Holy Spirit reminded me of. So my heart my heart was thinking on all my responsibilities and the things that I have to do. And it became, it was a weight on me that brought me down. Hallelujah. And we know that God's um, yoke is easy and his burden is light. Hallelujah. So I just gave it to the Lord. Hallelujah. I became humbled and had a bowed heart. Hallelujah. And the, the, the Lord started to fill me up. Hallelujah. So today I'm going to talk to you about what a bowed heart is because God gave me this word on Monday at um, 5 a.m. in the morning. And when I woke up after prayer, I just kept writing. I was like, God, oh my God, you see, you know what I mean? When you trust in the Lord and you put your faith on the Lord and you keep your eyes on the Lord, God will show up every time because he is a very present help. So let's talk about a bowed heart, okay? So today I want to talk about, um, we always say most often that when we're trying to justify a behavior, when we find ourselves falling in disobedience and not doing what the God has um, assigned us to do, hallelujah, or an action, right? We always say God knows what is in our heart. And I want us to start being mindful of the things that we are saying because we are representative of God. And not only that, life and death is in the tongue. Hallelujah. God knows what is in our heart. And we so often use that verse out of context. We use it as an excuse, right? And so I wanted to come on here to show you, um, to talk to you about what God was telling me, um, what God says about the heart. And it's in Proverbs 15 and 28. He says, above all, the heart is the most deceitful. So we need to be intentional, teaching, be intentional, be intentional about not saying God knows my heart. He does know our heart because God searches all things, but we need to own up to our mistakes in those moments and our faults, and we need to repent and move forward. Hallelujah. Because the Lord says in Proverbs, the Lord says that 
the heart of the righteous is studied to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poured out evil things. So when we're saying those that we so often use it, like I said, in a ways to justify our actions of disobedience and hallelujah to justify a behavior. OK, and then the Lord continued to the Holy Spirit continued to speak to me. Hallelujah. Now. And then he started to tell me some more, bring up more scripture me that the Lord says about the heart. In Jeremiah 17, 9, verses 9 to 10, it says, I, the Lord, search the heart, try the ruins, even to give every man according to his ways. So whatever, hallelujah, is within your heart, know that the Lord is going to give you a, give you according to your ways. So you want to make sure that you have, sorry about that. You want to make sure that your heart is right. You have a bowed heart before the Lord and a bowed heart hallelujah produces good about heart trust in god about heart hallelujah brings forward fruit it receives about heart is full of courage and acknowledges god about heart is joyful hallelujah god is so good and god wants us to be wise in our heart so bow your heart have a bowed heart before the lord and i can't stop saying that because god gave me that word hallelujah and in the spirit if you can see that was my posture that had a bowed posture before the lord i was in such humility hallelujah and in proverbs 21 chapter 21 it says the wise in heart shall be called prudent and the sweetness of his lips increase it in learning i like this scripture because the word of the lord says in matthews 15 and 18 but the but what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart and defiles a person. You hear that? What comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart and defiles the per defiles the person. So I began to take my study even further because you know scripture tells us to study and to show ourselves approved. And I began to study, do a study on the heart. And I wanted to look up what the heart word heart meant in Hebrew. Um, Hebrew was written in um, the language in the Old Testament and the New Testament in Greek. And in Hebrew, it says the heart is the mind, the conscious, the center, the middle of where you make your cho your choices. So it's your um, it controls your personality. It controls your um, intellect and it controls your emotions. And that's what happened with me when my heart was hardened last week. I was led not by the Holy Spirit. I was being led by my emotions and my feelings. And that's not where the Lord wants us to be. Hallelujah. Because you will bear no fruit that way. When you are being led by the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, you will be in line. You will be in the will of God. Hallelujah. And he is going to help you to preserve, to persevere and to go forward. He's so good. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. And so in the Greek... When um, I research what the heart is, in Greek, um, heart is um, called the cardia, which is your heart. And it says it does not refer to a physical organ, but also always used figur figuratively in reference to the Bible, the seat, the center of human life. The center of human life, right? So then I started to compare the two, our physical hearts and then our spiritual hearts that God looks at, the inward parts. So the physical heart needs oxygen, it needs blood flow, and you need to exercise. And without those things, without those elements, you can get heart disease, you can get pain in your chest, which eventually leads to heart attacks. And heart attacks can lead to death, right? So God says to guard your heart in all of your ways right so our spiritual hearts right we need god's word written on our heart because what pours out of our mouth comes from our heart so we need the word of god to be we need to be so consumed and so filled of the word of god that when we speak we are speaking the word of god we are speaking graciously we are speaking life and life in abundance hallelujah right and in those in our spiritual hearts it it, it, it gives us joy right our heart gives us life right it gives us the heart that god looks that gives us spiritual well-being it gives us it makes we ha it makes us well and healthy right and god searches the heart god looks at the heart he tests our motives that is important to god hallelujah because god's not looking at this he's not looking at our 
outward appearance, right? The refining pot is for silver and the furnace is for gold, but the Lord, the Lord tests the heart. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is so good. So God, this week, I perceive, I perceive wants us to do a heart check and he wants us to op to allow him to heal any of our heart issues within our hearts. Hallelujah. And so when we are doing a heart check, when we go to the doctor, the, the heart, the doctor listens to our heart, right? And he checks our heart, right? He's listening to hear our heartbeat to see if it's in a regular heartbeat, right? But then when we go to God, God searches our hearts. He tests our heart. God created us. Hallelujah. So he knows everything that is within us anyway. Hallelujah. God wants to fill our heart with goodness. And when your heart is filled of disease, when the, the, when the doctor sees that your heart is filled of disease, right? or that the blood is not flowing right towards your heart, that doctor will pre prescribe you medicine. But God, in all his splendor, in all his wisdom, and in all his majesty, right? God says that a happy heart is good medicine. A happy heart is good medicine, hallelujah. You hear that? A happy heart is good medicine. God doesn't have to prescribe us medication, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is so good. So I hope that this has shifted your perspective or it's going to really make you think and go back to the word of God and just really search. Or you'll be more mindful when you are about to utter those words. Well, God knows what's in my heart. I was going to fast, but I was so frustrated when I frustrated when I was fasting that I stopped my fast, but God knows what is in my heart. I'm going to try again at another time. I know we all been in that place. We all been in that place. You're right. God knows your heart and he knows your motives, right? So let's go forward in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's let God heal our hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God wants to do a good thing in you. Hallelujah. God is so good. So let's um, close out in prayer. Hallelujah. I know sometimes I may not articulate my words right, but I give it to you exactly how the Holy Spirit gives it to me. Because he knows that's the way that I will understand it. And I know that scripture tells us to make it simple and plain so that even a child will be able to understand. Hallelujah. So let's pray. Lord, Father God in heaven, we lift up your holy name and we praise you, Father God. Father God, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your compassion, oh God. We thank you for your presence, oh God. We thank you for being in the midst of us, God. We thank you for this heart check today, oh God. Father, Lord God, you are our savior, Lord, and we lift you up, oh God. We lift you high, hallelujah. Your name is above all names, Father God. We ask, oh God, that you will forgive us for the wickedness and the deceitfulness, oh God, that is within our hearts, God. Lord, you said a happy heart is good medicine. So, Father, we lift up every wounded heart to you. Every broken heart I lift up to you today, Father God. Father God, I pray for healing, oh God, hallelujah for every wounded heart, Lord God, every broken heart, Father God. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, for you are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God, our healer, Lord God. You are the God that binds up the wounds of the brokenhearted, oh God. Father God, we ask that you would cleanse us, oh God. Cleanse our hearts from all impurity, oh God. Cleanse our heart from all pollution, oh God. Cleanse our heart from all crookedness, oh God. Purify us, oh God. Put a right spirit within us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, oh God. Father God, you are the mighty counselor, oh God. Father God, we ask that you will fill our, heart, our hearts with your counsel, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, we thank you, oh God, that your word says in Ezekiel chapter 36 and 26, oh God. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within, that I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. So Father, we thank you for that promise. Father, we receive that promise, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, we pray, oh God, that it's not our will will be done, that your will will be done in our lives, oh God. Father, I bless every subscriber. I bless everyone who's going to watch this video, oh God. I pray that you will make
make their way successful, oh God. I pray, Father God, that you would show them who they are in you, oh God, because you are God not of confusion, oh God. And I pray, Father God, hallelujah, that they will receive this prayer father god in the name of jesus and they will be testimony after testimony after testimony oh god for your glory in jesus name i bless them in jesus name i pray amen it is done it is so and god bless you god keep you god make his face to shine upon you and may god give you his shalom i love you with the love of christ I ask that you will like this video to help with the algorithm because it helps to push this video out to those who don't have a Bible, to those who need encouragement, to those who need a word to help with their situation in the season, who need clarity. Hallelujah. So bless them as I, as the Lord has blessed you today by using me as his earthen vessel in this earth realm. Earth realm. He will be glorified in Jesus name. I bless you. Amen. Bye y'all.